Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. This is going to be just kind of my next recent finds. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it's kind of the same way it's been in the last two or three recent find videos I've done. This is just kind of the next next stack that came from trades over the past week and a half or so. Uh, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to kind of finishing the, the, vi the collection cleansing now, so... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm not sure how many more of these type of videos I'll be making. I think I have like 10 more cubes to do, so I'm pretty close to being done. But uh, over the past week and a half, these are things I've picked up off of trade. Uh, and what I have done too with some of the things I've pulled out of my collection, maybe they're a little more high dollar items that I know I won't get as much with trade. I've been, uh, I've done, I've sent a couple things out VCLT and then other stuff I put on eBay. So I've also kind of, you know, when that stuff sold, I purchased some stuff on eBay as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, again, just a bunch of trades here. So let me just kind of share with you what they are and go from there. So I did pick up a copy of John Coltrane, Live at the Village Vanguard. This is one I actually thought I had. And then when I came back and actually looked, I realized I have it on CD in a box set, but I don't have the vinyl. And these are really nice too, this store that has that had these because there was a, a bunch of different jazz albums that they got in that were this jazz classic these 180 gram reissues and I listened to this the other day and it's I mean on Sunday I think and it sounded absolutely great you know great 180 gram pressing but the thing is so cool about these was the pricing on them because they had everything for $13.99 on these jazz jazz classic albums and everything from Coltrane to Joe Henderson, McGinnis, uh, Miles Davis, on and on and on. So, you know, it's kind of nice to get some very, very good 180 gram pressings that are, again, only going to hit you for like $13. So that was a great trade there. As well as Africa Brass. Same thing. Nice 180 gram pressing. Haven't listened to this one yet, but like I said, I listened to the the live in uh, at the Village Vanguard, and that sounded great. Uh, this was one that I picked up there as well, because not only did I have the trade going, but they also had a deal going where um, the highest item that you had was half off, which was great. So I used that to pick up this Bo Diddley, the singles collection. Because I have a number of Bo Diddley LPs, and I do have this on CD. But uh, when I saw it on vinyl, I was just kind of like, oh, I think that's one I got to have, especially if I can get it for half off. So, I mean, I think initially it was $20, $28 or something like that. So I got the trade for only $14, which was really nice. So that, that was a, a good addition. And then some new additions to the MoFi collection, which is nice. Judas Priest. Killing Machine slash Hellbent for Leather. So that was a nice addition. As well as, I was going to say Weezer, uh, the B 52s <laughs> Wild Planet. Another great addition to the MoFi collection. This, of course, is the single sleeve, not the gatefold. And that's why I was going to say Weezer, because I also picked up Weezer's Pinkerton. And this is one that he, he's had sitting on the shelf for quite some time, like back when we first started the trade. And I just kind of kept skipping it, skipping it, skipping it. Um, you know, decent album. Not necessarily the first album I run to the stacks for, but again, when it comes to using trade, it was one that I was willing to pick up. And so that was uh, another nice addition to the, the MoFi collection, which is cool. Uh, let's see, this is one that I picked up from today, actually. Call Me D Nice, 12 inch single. And I actually picked this one up because I have a copy of it already, but my cover is pretty rough. And, um, you know, and also this vinyl is near mint, which is also nice. So I went ahead and picked it up as a replacement. Although I'm not sure if I'm going to get rid of the other one or not, just because the other one played pretty well. That's why I kept it in the first place. But uh, it's also a white label promo copy. So I'm not sure if I want to get rid of that. I'll probably just keep both. Like I said, when I saw this with a much better cover and a near mint vinyl, I thought that could be a good upgrade. 
another one that worked out well from a trade perspective, Radiohead, Hail to the Chief. I listened to this CD this past weekend, and, you know, just kind of remembered decent album, that type of thing. And again, it's just another one of those that I would never go out and spend money on it, but through the course of a trade, it was definitely worth getting. And also, it puts me pretty close to completing my Radiohead collection on vinyl. Uh, I just need Amnesiac and uh, Kid A. Those are the two that I need. And so far, I've also kept my entire Radiohead collection sealed. So it was nice getting a sealed copy. But yeah, if I get those other two, that'll kind of complete my, my vinyl collection. Here's another one that, again, he had sitting on the shelf for some time, and I listened to it on iTunes this weekend and just never realized how great an album this was. So I grabbed this today, which is MC5, back in the USA. Really, really cool stuff. I mean, I've only listened to like four or five songs off of it. Those kind of briefly over the iTunes. But yeah, it sounded great, so I'm looking forward to really diving in and getting into that album. Another single that I picked up, Soul to Soul, Back to Life. Another group that I, I kind of really got into back in my high school, early college years. So it was a nice 12 inch single there. And here's another one too. This is a great find as well. This is an album that I've wanted for quite some time and I've stumbled across it a number, number of times for like $10, $15 and just never could get myself to pay that much for it. But worked out well because I was able to knock it out through trade and it is LL Cool J's Bad. I've wanted this for a long time, just was not willing to dish out that kind of money for it, but found a great copy and great playing condition. And again, it's kind of a classic that goes back to the high school years. And this was a good pickup, because this is one of the albums that I sold in my first trade that I did, because it wasn't in the best of playing conditions, and I found one that is in really good playing condition, which actually was playing in the background, if it's, I don't know if it's loud enough to hear it or not, but Steely Dan, great hits. A little bit of ring wear there on the back, but again, the vinyl plays near mint. So that was a great pickup. Another replacement that I found. This guy's come out of the dollar bin. I wonder if any of you are familiar with Luis Goffin. This is Kid Blue. For any of you that maybe really, really like the movie Breaking All the Rules, not the Jamie Foxx version that came out in the 90s or whatever, but the 80s version about the fun park and all that stuff. Uh, if you like that movie or ever seen it a couple times, then you will recognize the song Kid Blue because that was just one of, kind of one of the major songs inside, inside the movie. So, so it was nice to find, blah, blah, blah. It was good to find a near mint copy of that as well as Minute Work, another dollar bin find where I upgraded the copy I had, Cargo. Um, found this in the dollar bin too, which is nice. Linda Ronstadt, you know, she has a great voice. You know, Hasten to the Wind, another great album. So again, a nice near mint copy for only a dollar. It's always a great find. And then same thing with uh, Bob James and David Sanborn. Sanborn uh, is a smooth jazz artist I like quite a bit. I have a number of his things, and so I saw this from the dollar bin, and it was in great condition, so I went ahead and picked it up, and listened to this this past weekend. It's pretty decent, too. It's called Double Vision, so really, really good stuff. So, yeah, that's the next kind of haul and all the trade stuff that's been going on. Like I said, I have about maybe 10 more cubes of stuff to go through, so I think I'll get at least one more solid good trade in. Um, and yeah, so that's, those are the pickups. A few CDs here and there, maybe I'll pull those out in another video and kind of share those as well, but as always, VC, let me know what you think, and we will talk to you guys soon. All right, take care, guys.